Hey YouTube, um, Adam here. So, yesterday uh, I was looking for getting a new bag, and so yeah, today I actually successfully got a new bag. Um, so I asked one of my coworkers, or wh where do I get a good messenger bag, and he suggested two places. Um, one of the bags he suggested was from Manhattan Portage, and uh, I, I mean, actually that's the that's the brand I've seen a lot of people carry around. It's one with a red logo, and there's like a, a city landscape in, in there. So I've also checked out the, another brand called Jack Spade, and that's a more higher-end kind of bag. And uh, the prices there are pretty expensive. So we checked it out online, and it yeah, the prices ranged around $300-something. Um, so I figured I'd go with the cheaper one going to Manhattan Portage. So out of all the bags they've had at um, Manhattan Portage, I've actually got drawn to these certain styles of bags. Um, so I kind of got drawn to these certain styles of bags that I kind of liked a lot more. They were leather bags, which looked a lot sleeker and a little bit better. So I got me this. So this is it. Um, it's a brown leather bag. It's um, token. So it's, um, well the cover here is all real genuine leather. Um, inside here, uh, it's waxed canvas. And it's pretty cool. Um, I already packed it up with my stuff. I, I removed all my stuff from my other bag, uh, which kind of needed a cleaning because I had a lot of papers and I don't know whatever from months months ago. Um, the token bag is really comfortable to carry around. Um, the strap itself that came with it is supposed to be a, I think they said it's 100% cotton, so it's not made out of nylon or anything like that. So it's all 100% cotton, and uh, I think it's kind of made for comfort. So this was kind of pricier than I expected to, um, than I expected. Uh, I was expecting something less than $100, but I realized that nowadays with inflation and whatnot, I, you can't find a bag less than $100, or at least a decent bag less than $100. Um, I remember I bought a Targus bag, this was like five years ago for my laptop, um, actually no, more than that, but that was like, it was like $80, and now I guess when I look at bags, it's really really expensive um so yeah i'm not going to say the price on this um i might post like if, if i can find it online i'll put, I'll post a link down here on the actual model i got so they had two colors um that brown and black and i decided to go with the brown because it seemed kind of more i don't know it seemed kind of seems seems like it suits me a little a little better um black black was my other choice but uh it was a tough decision, but um, the lady at the store suggested that I look better with uh, the brown. So, so the cool thing when I'm playing right now is that actually these have uh, magnets on them, so, so they just like snap right on and they snap right off. So, and this is also 100% waterproof. I hope. Um, you know, with the kind of money I've paid for this thing, I hope it's waterproof. And actually, inside here it's um, canvas, I think. So, inside is. Lots and lots of room. I already have my iPad in here. Um, I like to carry my umbrella with me. I also like to carry some pills. Um, I have my Claritin. I, once in a while I get allergy problems. You never know. Advil. I should probably get like a little case for these things. And God forbid, Pepto Bismol because if you're out and about and you get a stomach ache, that's usually the worst place. Usually you get a stomach at the worst uh, worst possible time and whatnot. So I always like to carry extra bags just in case, like if it rains or if I have some leftover food I want to carry with me, I just like put them in the bag, or whatever. Um, yeah, I do carry them. And I have um, one of these uh, stress balls. I just, I don't know, I just seem to carry the, one of these with me everywhere I go. Um, I actually never really use it because it, it just stays in my bag. It's just in there for now. And the best part about it, my iPad. So I, I got the large bag, so I could also fit my 13-inch MacBook Pro, and I think that's the largest you could actually um, fit in there. Um, anything bigger than that, I don't think it would fit. This is actually the MacBook Pro is not that big. Hmm. What else do I have in here? So I also have, God knows when you need it, um, Vicks Dayquil. I'm usually never sick. I rarely ever take any anything like that. But I don't know. I, I kind of like I'm I'm kind of guy who likes to walk around like a medicine cabinet. You know, you never know. 
when you need it or when someone else you know that needs it, stuff like that. So one of the things my grandma used to always tell me before leaving the house is always bring with you like paper towel or napkins or tissues uh, because you never know when you've got to like blow your nose, you always get like stuffy and kind of where, um, even if you're not like stuffed up or anything like that, you could always use a tissue for wiping whatever you need to wipe on the thing. And Purell. Um, never leave home without Purell. God knows what you're touching on the bus or subway. And, you know, it's always handy. Um, usually, if you gotta like eat something, you touch something, you, uh, you don't know what the hell that is. Or it's, mm, you never go wrong with that. There's many, many other pockets here. Um, I think I could put like some pens in there and all this stuff like that. Um, there are these, uh, there are these like other things in here. Uh, they have like a lot of compartments and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's a pretty handy bag. Um, I look forward to walking around with it in the city and stuff. Whenever, um, actually it's probably Monday when I go back to work. The most important thing is I always carry umbrella with me because weather forecaster says it's either going to be sunny or raining, and it, you never know what the hell is going on. Um, he says it's, they say it's sunny and it's looking boring. They say it's going to rain, it like never rains. So it's always better to be prepared than to be sorry. And especially if it, you know, if there's a downpour, God forbid, and uh, you get caught up in it. And I don't want to buy another umbrella. Um, actually, I do need a new umbrella, but uh, I don't feel like having to buy one just when I have one. Because it's really expensive too. It's like, uh, I think the one I got is like 20 bucks at 20 read. Um, they, yeah, they go pretty high and especially the cheap ass quality as well so really really comfy i i'm definitely worth the money um from what i've heard from other friends they say you don't want to really pack these with a lot of weight in them because you could really feel it in your shoulder but so one of the cool things about this is you know i could always strap it on one side and it's kind of nicely distributes the weight across um, both back and front and I can always um, swap it over to the other side like that and I got the bag right here and when I sit down I could just like just sit down with the bag in front of me without having to struggle like how do I take the backpack off me and then having to like add long sleeves or something or clipping the um, clipping the strap on my sleeve and it's like oh I got a button caught you know I'll really break a button or whatever so, and this is really, really comfy, especially in the summertime when it gets really hot and humid and you don't want to start sweating uh, with the backpack on. So just wearing a backpack in general in the summertime feels like you're wearing, um, yeah, just wearing a coat on top of you because it's just, yeah, it's just way too much. Um, so if you guys watched this video, um, don't forget to get the thumbs up and subscribe, please. Um, and I'll try to post some more videos whenever I can. Well. Well, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.